the only thing that could make my day more miserable is listening to an engineer blather on about the inevitable rise of the machines. Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer and in this exciting video, we are going to talk about GitHub Copilot and whether it's actually going to replace me as your coding instructor. I have already been looking and getting amazed by Microsoft's love for developers. Microsoft came out with Visual Studio Code made Visual Studio better, then introduced Windows Subsystem for Linux, a new terminal and now it's even introducing Winget, a command line tool for installing your packages. Microsoft also acquired GitHub and said that GitHub can leverage Microsoft's resources to serve developers even better and now it's out there with GitHub Copilot, which may be our new friend while we're writing code. The technical preview of GitHub Copilot is out and as the website itself suggests, it's an AI pair programmer using which you can get suggestions for a whole line of code and as you can see, you write a function name and it completely fills out the entire function for you. It seems pretty good as of now, right? And as a programmer, if I have this, I can really be more productive. If you keep looking at it, it's using GPT-3 and the OpenAI platform, which by the way is not completely open. And then it's saying that it's trained on billions of lines of public code and it puts the knowledge that we need at our fingertip. GitHub also says that it's not just an auto-complete that we have even by other AI platforms, it's more than that. And to be honest, right now I think of it as like Google search plus Stack Overflow's top answer right in my VS code. But it's not just that, GitHub Copilot does a lot more than that. As you can see, you can click on the next button to get more suggestions for the same code. So max some slices, you click on next, it's going to give you different options of the same implementation, which kind of look the same, but hey, it's completely up to you on how you do this. You can go to previous to check the previous um, suggestion and then you can accept if you like one suggestion. This is great, but hey, this ain't the only one out there. Amazon already introduced AWS Amazon's Code Guru, which again was same an ML powered recommendations platform using where our Code Guru reviewer will first of all autocomplete little bits of code, but will also review how our code is. And not just that, we also have Tab9. Again, it's an code faster with AI, and it kind of does the same thing. Obviously, not completing the entire function for us, but it's still giving us a lot more productivity than we can. We also have Kite kind of the same thing which again you see it says that you can complete our code base in very less time and by the way this video is not sponsored by either kite or tab 9 now coming to the million dollar question that can this actually replace developers well you need a lot of data to train a model which can even auto suggest you lines of code and well fortunately or unfortunately we have been doing this over years we developers have shared billions and billions lines of code over stake overflow or even over GitHub. And I'm pretty sure GitHub used GPT-3 and OpenAI to develop the platform using the same code base. And thus, if you add something, if you write something like add two numbers, it's going to give you a entire function suggestion because we all know that's kind of the same. But if you think that this is going to write your entire application or your entire website or even write code without you while you're sipping coffee or playing your video game, your AI is just writing code, I don't think it's going to be very possible right now or even in coming few years. And if it's going to replace programmers or not, then let's take a look at that. You see, when autopilots came, they did not replace airplane pilots. Then this is still a co-pilot. Website itself suggests that it's an AI pair programming. It's not saying that it's an AI which can write code for you. Also, uh, tech is changing rapidly. And since it relies on the existing code base, you can't rely on old code base for long. And what I want to say is that while it can do so many things, I don't think when a new framework comes out, such as Fostify, it can write a lot of code in that. It can complete the basics like auth functions or a simple router, but not everything that you want for an application. So pretty much it can do simple things. It can help you maximize your productivity. But if you're thinking you can, your client can just tell it to write their entire Android application, then it's not going to do that. And also on a fun note, to make an AI build your entire application, you, ne you have to specify your requirements clearly. And we all know how good clients are with that. So yeah, all in all, it's a good tool which is going to maximize your performance and whether it's going to replace you, me or not, I think that's something that we will all see in future. Looking at the existing product, I won't say that it's going to replace you. Yeah, I can say that it's going to maximize your productivity by a lot more than any other autocomplete engine out there. So 
I think that's where Microsoft is bidding to sell this product and make money out of it because well Microsoft is not going to do a lot more for us for free. So that's pretty much it from my side in this video. I'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about product coding, Node.js, Python, Django and whatnot. So keep coding, keep loving, keep saving and peace.